My name is Malaika, I'm the artistic director of The Bear Project and we are a group of artists and theatre makers based in South Yorkshire and we have created this piece called The People's Palace of Possibility. The People's Palace of Possibility is a nomadic, half-built palace that hosts feasts and restless utopian scheming. It is animated and added to by people wherever it goes. All utopian projects and all visions for the future are rooted in stories and myths. And back in 2019, we were walking through the woods and we came across this box and it looked like maybe it had just been like left there abandoned. And we found loads of cutlery in the box. There was also like a stack of cassette tapes that had like people's names and dates and some had titles written on them in different handwriting. And there was a stack of like maps and note people's notes that were in like plastic wallets. And we got one of the pieces out and it was this big blueprint. And across the top of the blueprint, it said the People's Palace of Possibility. We were really keen to do with the People's Palace of Possibility as an installation is find a way of hosting both like the fear and anger that we feel and maybe even like the despair that we feel about the world when we think about the future and also a space that hosts some of the optimism and ideas for what we can do about it and how we kind of connect to each other. Really at the heart of this project there is a question which is how do we find energy and hope despite the despair and the fear that we feel about the world. And for us, some potential answers for that were around like solidarity and a sense of collectivity, a feeling connected to people, which is also why the palace is touring around the country, you know, like what's connecting people who are doing amazing things in Rotherham to the Highlands, to London, to the Isle of Wight. So how do we build that sense of connection locally as well as nationally, maybe internationally as well, is really important. Another way we thought that maybe we could find some energy despite our sense of anger and fear is through engaging with utopian thinking and alternatives like what's possible and these little projects or movements which are in the cracks of our failed system. You know, there are already things going on that are reason to be hopeful and how can we support them, replicate them, celebrate them so that those cracks can grow a bit wider and we can break this kind of harmful system that we're in.